So what is the APM Introductory Certificate qualification? First of all, it's a knowledge-based qualification. Secondly, it's very much about an introductory level uh, qualification which focuses on project management principles, terminology uh, and provides a foundation for project management. At a more detailed level, so what does it comprise? It covers 27 of the 52 topics in the body of knowledge. So it covers quite a scope within the body of knowledge. Uh, it covers more breadth rather than depth of those topics, so it covers them at a principles level. Um, in terms of examination, it's a one-hour examination with 60 multiple choice questions. In order to pass the examination, you need to score a minimum of 36 correct answers out of the 60, i.e. at least 60% you need to score to pass the exam. Um, in terms of training and support, you can get that from a range of APM accredited providers and it's available in a number of, uh, a number of formats. And in terms of total preparation time, and this is important to appreciate, somewhere between 15 and 20 hours. Now that includes any formal training. So for example, you may go on a two-day training course which is then supplemented by an evening or so revision time on top of that. Suddenly equates to around 15 to 20 hours, so do bear that in mind. Now who will benefit from this? Uh, it's very much aimed at people starting out their project management careers. So it could be a project manager who's not yet had any formal training, uh, perhaps an inexperienced project manager or somebody about to start a project for the first time. Um, that would be very beneficial to, to, to that individual. Um, also in terms of those people that support projects, so team members, those people who provide uh, support and do work on projects, very useful for those people in terms of getting a basic understanding of project management terminology, what is project management, what is a project, uh, and how projects are managed and their contribution to those projects.